Feather guys. So yeah, it looks like Tyson Fury is going to be fighting Andy Ruiz in um, July. Um, I just wanted to give my thoughts on the fight. So, if you look at the heavyweight division, um, apart from the undisputed fight, um, this is probably the best. If you go by the rankings, this is probably the best matchup that can be made. Um, I mean, Joshua is fighting Dylan White. Um, Zili Zhang is still tied up with Joe Joyce. Um, obviously, Joe Joyce has just been stopped. Um, Fury's already beaten Wilder numerous times. Um, and, you know, you, you're just going further down the list um, after all those names. So, this is probably um, the best opponent that Fury could take that's not the undisputed fight at the moment. Um, but it doesn't mean it's a, a good fight. Um, now, you have fights that are sort of... Um, where you favor one guy heavily, but the other guy's got a chance like you, you know, you go sort of 80-20 um, Favoring one guy um, I don't think this is one of those fights. I don't see a way that Andy Ruiz can beat Tyson Fury um, I mean you look you look at Andy Ruiz's last fight against Luis Ortiz um, I mean Luis Ortiz um, He 43 year old man officially, you know, he could be a lot older um, around six foot four, seventy something inch reach, um, and he was able to control Andy Ruiz from the outside with a jab. Um, he was throwing good straight punches. Andy Ruiz just couldn't get close to him. Um, obviously, Andy Ruiz won, won the fight because he scored a few knockdowns, um, and obviously, Luis Ortiz is over forty and probably closer to fifty. So, um, obviously, he doesn't have the punch resistance that he had in his prime. So he was able to score a few knockdowns, but there was rounds in that fight where Andy Ruiz was getting absolutely schooled. Um, he was just unable to get close. He was unable to bypass the reach of Luis Ortiz, who was just throwing, you know, his right hand jab um, and the left hand. Um, and you look at the scorecards for that fight. I mean, the official judges had um, Andy Ruiz winning 113-112 which is 7-5 Luis Ortiz um, and the other two had it 6-6 six, six. so even with scoring those you know three knockdowns Andy Ruiz still didn't win the fight um, by the amount of uh, rounds he won um, and you look at Tyson Fury Tyson Fury is bigger than Luis Ortiz he's heavier he's got a longer reach he's much faster than Luis Ortiz with foot speed and hand speed um, he's a better boxer than Luis Ortiz, he's got more technical skill, he's got better defense um, and obviously he's not over the hill like Luis Ortiz was um, and Andy Ruiz, if Andy Ruiz is unable to get to um, Luis Ortiz then I don't see a way that he's going to get to Tyson Fury who is almost a foot taller than him um, and has a massive reach advantage um, and Andy Ruiz is He's tailor-made for Tyson Fury. I mean, you look at some of Fury's fights um, where he fought the likes of Christian Hammer, Derek Chisora, Dylan White. I mean, these guys are sort of slow-footed, um, shorter heavyweights um, who come forward, um, apply pressure, um, quite par quite big punches. Um, and Tyson Fury, you look at his fight against Derek Chisora, the second fight, he just absolutely schooled him. Chisora didn't win a round. Um, you look at his fight against Dylan White. Dylan White didn't win a round. And um, Christian Hammer, it's, it's the same story. Um, and I don't particularly believe that Andy Ruiz is any better than Derek Chisora was in the second fight. Um, I think, you know, Derek Chisora at his prime is around the same level as Andy Ruiz. I think they're quite, quite similar to be honest, in, in terms of levels. Um, and obviously Andy Ruiz is going to be highly rated because he's a former unified world champion. Um, and, you know, he, he upset Anthony Joshua. But, I mean, Anthony Joshua, he's always shown that he's susceptible to pressure. Um, when a guy puts pressure on him, he starts to fall apart mentally. Um, and Joshua, he's not got a lot of heart, so he, he, he tends to sort of mentally give up um, if a guy starts really 
putting the pressure on him and makes it a really rough night. Um, and I think this fight, Fury vs Ruiz, will look and will make Joshua look very bad because obviously in the second fight he had to run all night to beat Andy Ruiz. Um, he never held his feet once, um, always on the move, pretty much running a marathon. Um, and yeah, I think Fury will absolutely demolish Andy Ruiz. Um, I don't see Andy Ruiz having any success at all, if I'm honest. Um, he might land like one punch, one big punch on Fury, which will, you know, <laughs> get the crowd excited or whatever, but I don't see him having any su sustained success at all in this fight. I think Fury absolutely destroys him. Um, and I think Fury stops him on accumulation um, late in the fight, say 9 to 12. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below um, and God bless.